Look at this. The enemy folk want to attack something like a castle. Of course, there's going to be walls and all of that here. But to get into the castle, they need a way. Back in the day when castles were, well, not as technologically savvy as today's common man is, people would construct what we call a moat surrounding the castle or the fort. What is a moat? Well, it's this long, wide gap, a broad, wide gap, which had a lot of water in it, a lot of spikes and thorns, and sometimes even animals like alligators and swamp animals. Why? So that people didn't have direct access back into the castle, right? Which means every time an enemy tried to attack, well, this person had to do it at a very great distance. And if they tried building bridges, we had defense people right here who could shoot them down and destroy those bridges. But then what when these folks wanted to get out of that castle and go do whatever they had to do in life? Well, they couldn't all the time build a bridge and then break that bridge down. And then while coming back, build another bridge and then break that bridge down. That would have been annoying and very, very, very expensive as well. So what somebody ended up doing was to define something beautiful, a contraption called a moat bridge. Something which had a simple mechanism like maybe a drawbridge, simple pulley system with chains, which could be operated by the people from within the castle, such that now the defensive team could actually go out, do their thing, and just so that they don't get a sneak attack, they could pull the drawbridge back, right? And now, again, the moat is in the way for anybody who wants to get in uninvited. Now, when the people came back, what did they do? Well, they lowered the bridge again. And when they lower the bridge, people come back in and they live a happy life ever after. I don't know about that, but just to be sure that nobody else comes in, we can close the drawbridge or the moat bridge again. Ah! So essentially, we had a mechanism to control the flow of people through the moat. <laughs> Fascinating. Control the flow of people. Control people current. Do we have a mechanism in electricity that we can control the flow of charged particles or electric current? Well, that's what we're exploring. And this was a nice metaphor, but let's quickly switch into a different experiment to understand how we control the flow of charged particles in an electrical circuit. Speaking of controlling the flow, have you tried Learn Journeys on Baiju's The Learning app? Well, download the app and explore personalized pathways to master different concepts. Now back to that video. Out here, we have a setup that kind of simulates a neighborhood which has a street lamp. Now think about it, the street lamp could be on at all times, but when the sun's out and the lights are on in the world around us, why would we need street lamps on? At that point in time, during daytime, I want the street lamps off. Which means whatever circuitry is controlling the street lamp should not be passing current. But let's say it's evening and the lights are all off in the real world around us. That's when we want the street lamp to go on. Ah, fascinating. Which means in as much as a moat bridge or a gate would control the flow of people through it, we need something in the electrical circuit that will control the flow of current through it. And in this setup, you can see that this is the source of current, which is the cell. We have a bulb out here, which is our street lamp. And we have this really fancy contraption out here. Check this out. I do this. Bridge drawn up. Circuit open. But when I let this touch down here, aha, gates closed, bridge drawn, circuit is closed. I can switch between a closed circuit and an open circuit. Bulb on, bulb off. Closed circuit switches to open circuit. Open circuit switches to closed circuit. This contraption, this device, this component in an electrical circuit is known as an electrical switch. Something that lets me control when the current's flowing and not flowing in the circuit. Because all night long, I could have the lights on, but then when the sun comes back up again, 
Well, I can turn it off without wasting any electricity. Of course, I took a very small metaphor out here. But you think about it, every appliance around you has some mechanism of electrical source, some component that uses electricity and more often than otherwise, a component called a switch. Now, switches could look really simple like this or they could be something more fancy like what you have on your remote. That is something which is doing it remotely. You could have something like your torch which has these clickety clickety switches. Switches come in different shapes, ways and forms but they're all meant to do just one function which is turn on or off the circuit. Leave the circuit open or leave the circuit closed when you choose that it should be. And I hope that you keep choosing to switch into the mode of learning at every opportunity that you get. And to switch into the learning mode, don't forget to download Baiju's Learning app. Link in the description below.